instead of putting it into escrow, open your own account and put that same monthly payment into an account that accrues interest for yourself. Hey everyone, Jamie with South for 1% Realtors here with Ed Brooker and my dad, Dave Barlow, older brother, Jason. And uh, Dave, you have a real estate term of the week. 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 For us, uh, what is that term that you've decided to share with everybody? Um, this is a, a question that comes up on uh, the buyer side and also on the seller side. Probably more so on the seller side is your mortgage escrow account. And, you know, the confusion, especially here in central Ohio and every region across the country, does it a little bit different with how they handle your property taxes. But just about every time that we get ready to go to closing, I send people a settlement statement for them to review um, almost 99% of the time. And, Jay, you do a lot of listings as well. Almost 99% of the time, do you see or do you hear from your seller I paid my property taxes. Why is this on here? Do you get that same question? My sellers are super intelligent. And so I do not get that question quite as often as you do, but I do get the question. Well, oh, good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I got to look for better clients. <laughs> and apologies to my current clients. Uh, <laughs> it, came, it came up uh, literally yesterday where... Yeah. He uh, sent me a text, and I was getting ready to send the, the normal copy and paste reply. And then the email started flying with the title company, and then they had to explain it. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll let Dad take it away, but, yeah, it does happen quite a bit. Well, everybody thinks that, you know, as part of your house payment, you, you, you pay what's called P-I-T-I, which is Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. And so the banks like to have you wrap that all up into one nice, neat little monthly payment uh, because every six months you have to pay your property taxes. And so, for example, you know, in Franklin County, where Columbus is, you uh, pay in June and January. Uh, in Delaware County, you pay in July and February. So the dates are a little bit different, but it's always the same process. What the banks are trying to avoid is that you don't pay your property taxes and then the tax man comes along and, and forecloses on your home because you didn't pay your property taxes. So by doing the escrow, everything gets paid. The banks take care of the payment for you. And then you don't have a surprise, you know, that, oh, I got a $5,000 payment and I just had a medical injury and I used my savings to pay for that. It's just rolled up into your house payment. Now, the problem comes for a seller who thinks, well, I just paid my taxes in June, um, and so you're saying that I still owe uh, 12 months of property taxes because we're closing at the end of June, let's say. Uh, and so, in essence, you owe for July through December of last year, and then January through whatever the closing date is, of this year. And so that's where the confusion is like, well, if you check your actual tax record, that payment, and, it, and it's actually on the bill they sent you, send you as well, um, that bill was for 2022, not this year's 2023, because that doesn't, hasn't even been billed yet. So, so there's a lot of confusions. We're always six months behind in central Ohio on your property taxes. And all we're doing at the time of closing, we're paying the taxes that are due, and then we're giving the buyer a credit for the taxes that will become due uh, in six months of their ownership. So, again, a little bit confusing, um, but we're normally able to explain it, and people do understand it. Um, I have heard in the past that the reason for that was about 150 years ago or so, here in central Ohio, we were a farm community. And so the tax man, when they started collecting property taxes, uh, the farmers all had a hissy fit. 
and said, hold on a second. I, I've not even been you know, paid for my grain that I've produced. How can I pay my taxes? And so the tax man said, oh, well, here's how we'll fix that. We'll delay payment for six months. That way you can get your grains in, get them to market, get paid, and then you can pay your tax bill. And so um, we're always running six months behind here in central Ohio. Hopefully that clears it up a little bit. Uh, I may have confused you even more. But no, it's, you know, all these problems in our society is because of big farm. Oh, we got boy. daylight savings time. We got taxes six months in arrears. The one, the one uh, big brain pro tip for the super intelligent seller out there, what you could do with your escrow money is instead of putting it into escrow, open your own account and put that same monthly payment into an account that accrues interest for yourself. The banks like the escrow account because they're generating interest off of your tax money. And so there's no reason. I learned that from a banker uh, here just a couple of weeks ago. He said, uh, for 50 years, I've never had escrow. I open my own account. It gets paid out. I know exactly what's getting paid out. And I'm making interest on that money for the last 50 years. And so there's your uh, there's your pro tip from your, your, your boys at sell for 1%. Your golden nugget of the day. So if you have any other questions, hey, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to help direct you in purchasing your home, in selling your home, and to work through all these little landmines that uh, you don't think about. And as my dad used to say, it's why we make the big money, uh, the 1% commission. Uh, give us a call. We'd love to help you. Thanks. Have a great day. Help us in our mission to fight on the good side against big farm and against big government. God bless, and God bless Columbus.